Anyway, we're back. I ate food. It was good. I regaled uh, Ahmed and Adam about my latest Celasta run through, which I won't repeat because it's. I just learned that a Celasta was the space game. The naming is a law. That's five E Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I was just, Marty said me this thing, oh, it's the 5e system. Like, okay. Celesta, it's got to have to do with space stuff. It's got soul in the name. What are you... Yeah, that's <laughs> a crown of the magister. It's not... yeah, I didn't read that far. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't worry, Marty. I listen to you all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so you've you've um, uh, crafted your, your boat, um, uh, your flotsam, your flotsam vessel, uh, using send... Android spell. Yeah, we're going to... We're gonna send Krimlier uh, up in the air with uh, with Katana. They don't need to be on the boat. Okay. They could be, but they don't need to be. And then we're gonna command the boat forward, which the the boat is able to uh, give me a profession sailor for navigating your boat. Your boat uh, acts as if it's going downstream, which means it it does work well against the waves. Um, but there's still you still have to actually row your boat. Um, Can you help? Uh... Vanta, you're a better sailor than I am, but this is my boat, so. <laughs> Come on, man. One, do, one, I, rank. one rank. We we all did one rank profession sailor because we didn't want to fucking have we, we get seasick anymore. Seasick, yeah. Well, I mean, we could also help. Uh, I think the seasick was more important. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of the eight, right. eight people. <laughs> no, you need to, yeah, you need to, uh, no, stay away from rock. Yeah. Are we recording yet? Or what? <laughs> we are, yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, plus 11. Yes, here we go. I'm Gru now. That question just scared me. Oh, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not good. Uh, 29. Okay, so plus yeah. 4. No, 3. Plus 3, 8. Yep. Uh, 30. 30? Okay, yeah, yeah. Without issue, you're able to, like... You end up having to back out of the rocks, and you end up looping around and making your way over towards the towards the wreck. Uh, while you're while you're traveling, um, uh, Banta is able to spy. Like there's another reef claw in the water. It is off about its business, just sort of sleeping. They seem to be relatively common in this region. Um, so you make your way towards the boat. Um, this grappling hook seems weird, Gedzorg, because it's. It's in there wrong. It's just it, it. It's just odd. It's it's in there in the wrong direction, and you can see a, a purple glow from uh, within the sodden and destroyed uh, cabin of like, the. Like, of was the boat. it a grapple from another boat, or did is this a grappling hook used for uh, cargo? Uh, this looks more like an. Adventurer's hook or okay, so boarding they tied, hook. They tied a rope, and the rope's coming down. The grapple's at the end of it. No, the grapple's at the top, yep. and it's upside down, like somebody was trying to pull the boat out of the water or something. Oh, like the it's it's oriented up, but the rope is obviously dangling down. But it's grappled into the mast. Oh, what the fuck happened here? So, so like, here's the mast, and the, the hook is up like this. <laughs> yeah, somebody. Yeah, somebody's trying. Like somebody tried to. Yeah. Maybe they tried to winch something. Well, I don't know. Skyhooks. It could. Big sky. it, it's possible. Yes, they, 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 they're they in the boat that's flying. They were <laughs> trying to beseech to Akadi to give their boat a tug out of the out of the horrible grasp of. No, maybe they fly and use the hook to keep the thing they fly on stable, like oh. anchor. Maybe. Let's uh, just keep an eye out for any of those chewed up ghouls. Is it possible? Oh, yes, ghouls. All right, we're going to navigate. I don't know how big we are compared to the boat as we get in. Okay, uh, you, you navigate your way up to the boat. Uh, the boat seems to be sort of split along uh, the main keel. The actual the keel itself yep. um, is still intact, but it's like twisted and splintered. Um, as in, like, the, the boat's been, like, snapped in half. And it's, okay, we'll pull uh, the flotsam raft up to the split area, and then kay. we'll tie it up to the side. Okay. Um, 
But yeah, from here you can see a, a purplish light. Give me one second. Um, all right. Um, Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So you you anchor your your boat there. Um, you can see uh, like yeah, sorry, you can see one of the snipped off hands of a ghoul, <laughs> uh, uh, like snagged up in a uh, an old uh, fishing net. Um, okay, we're gonna hop off and we're gonna actually explore this part of the boat first. Okay. Uh, Is there a good spot for um, the Griffin to land? Uh, up along this main rail might be decent. Um, it, she would need to basically, like, while within the boat, because of the angle it's at, uh, you effectively need to be climbing around, um, inside, as in it's not at, right. uh, like it's... We'll, we'll call her down to land here. Uh, it, it, in a storm, this would be very bad, but as it is now, it's like DC5 climb checks to sort of navigate around in here. Okay. Uh, Ganzorg's climb is probably pretty good. With an item? Yeah, he's got a plus 13. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Ganzorg has no problem monkeying his way around in here. Yeah, we want to check out the main deck, and then we're going to have a look underneath. Okay. Yeah, I'm good at climbing, so. All right, you, you check out the main deck. Uh, a lot of what is up here is, um, has been, like, weathered or washed away. Um... Give me a uh, percentile roll, Ahmed. Yep. I'm interested in grabbing that grappling hook. By the way, I'm gonna get. I want to get that grappling hook. Okay. I'm interested in seeing who it is. Uh. One hundred is either really good or really bad. <laughs> Bento. Rolla. Yes. Um. <sighs> No, it was on the main deck before, but it seems to sort of cracked uh, and partially fell through. And you, like, but you can see the back end of a cannon that isn't rusted or patinaed. Oh, look! I think we have something important. Look! Look! Oh, what's going on there? Uh, if uh, this cannon is it a ship cannon or is, like a, like a resilient cannon? It is a ship's cannon. So, can I? How big is a ship's cannon? Like, like four people load kind of ship cannon. Uh, it is a well, it is a five people crew cannon. Got it. Um, Fog room. It takes two full art actions to clean and load. Five feet across. This is a big thing. Oh, yes. Uh, they are also rather expensive. Yeah. This one apparently doesn't mind salt water and weathering. This one resisting the salt in the water, huh? This is important. This is different, not normal cannon. You need one of the wizard to look at it. I think Ship, ships' cannons are medium size. Uh, I believe so. Give me a second. I'm gonna pop it out. Uh, a, uh, I went straight to the cheap siege engine assembly. Uh, workers required. A normal cannon, sixty-six. Uh, ship's cannons 48. <laughs> so the, the, the ship's cannon does more damage than a normal cannon <laughs> because <laughs> uh, the silly people uh, uh, made these things. Uh, give me one second. Uh, all right. Yeah, da, da, da. <sighs> it would be. Let me just get, see if I can find it this way. Which I think is the 66 shrunk down. 
Uh, 66 should go to 3d8, not 48, unless it's a different table than the one I have memorized, which probably is. Uh, we'll say it's a, um, uh, would be... And Ahmed, from, um, Thogrim, do you have the weight of a cannon listed? Then look that up. I think they're about 6,000 pounds. Uh, how, how deep is it in the water? We, we actually like have stats for this under th yep. Yeah. if you could look uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking it up. Yeah, give me a sec. It is, it is one size smaller than Thulgrim's cannon. It's the one so, size category down. Um, Two to three thousand. Give me a sec. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. But um, yeah, because the the rules themselves don't actually dictate this, so we should be consistent with the other characters that are in this world doing this thing. <laughs> okay. Can I? God, these sheets are so goddamn long. <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> what happens when you adventure for? Uh, okay, I got cannon balls are twenty five pounds a piece, and we already figured out. You can eat them. Yep. Okay, here we go. Cannons are anywhere from four to six thousand pounds. Yeah. Uh, so a and that's a large siege engine. That's so this is a it's, it's a medium siege engine. So okay, thousand to two thousand. No, less than that. By by. It, it's 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 like it, it's like six to eight hundred pounds. Oh, you think we could lift that? Uh, it is it's not problem of lifting. I I just think this boat cannot carry it. But if you have uh, leather bags uh, or bags with the oil, you can make small balloon. And 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 uh, you you make many 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 and you can lift it slow from water. Oh yeah, the the floats and vessels not going to be able to get it. That uh, yes, that's problem. That is the main uh, problem. Yes. Okay. Um, but Genzerg is going to cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, that is a magical. <laughs> There's obvious magic from there. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. Some who's going to love that thing. He's been talking a lot about cannons lately. Oh, nice. 22. 22. Uh, there's some magic coming from above you. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> uh, the That grappling hook is magical. Oh. Yes. Wait, uh, is, is this a rope trick? <laughs> <laughs> is there somebody up there? <laughs> He's now aiming his bow up there. <laughs> He's gonna fire Whoa. next. He's gonna fire next to where the rope is. He doesn't know what the. Okay. Um, uh, I'll try to. I'll try is, to. Is, yeah, I'll try the, to yank it down. What is the strength mod? Okay, you're trying. You're trying to yank it down. Yeah, grab the rope and give me a strength check. Okay. Oopsie. Strength mod of the bow is strength sixteen plus three. Okay. Uh, 20. Okay, the grappling hook is really stuck. The rope creaks under your pull. The rope seems really nice. Is the just the grappling hook magical, or is the rope magical as well? Uh, give me one second. There we go. Uh, the rope is also radiating magic. Okay, Genzerg is going to take out his rope of climbing and have it snake up. No, no need. It's already stuck. Well, I'm going to go up there to unstuck it. Yeah, but you hold on to post like this. You're just, just going to climb, just like. Oh, okay. He'll stand there and just guard. And Banta's gonna climb up there. Then yeah, Banta is just climb up. Yeah, I assume 
you 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 can climb a rope. You, you would pass high school gym class. <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. He'll 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 stick his feet against the post <laughs> and try to loosen, try to okay. loosen the uh, the the grappling hook. Okay, give me a acrobatics check. Just looks like. Gitano and trucks. <laughs> Gitano, you can see the fox getting ready to laugh. Uh, 12. Okay, give me a strength check. Uh, 23. Okay, it doesn't budge. Mm, it is uh, still not coming. I am pulling all, He's with all my weight. <laughs> he is standing and pulling with all of his force. If the grappling hook let go... He would go flying. Well, he's... Why? Just untie it. Uh, no, it is not. Uh, in the, the the hook is not coming off. No, untie the rope. That's the rope is. Oh, the grappling hook. Get off, you bastard! Ooh. Weird. Uh, can I untie the rope? Okay, give me a. The the knot seems really sturdy. Give me a strength check. 16. It's a very frustrating knot. You're pulling at it. This is a very good rope. All right. Uh, so uh, what kind of, um, kind of, uh, how, how thick is the post, the pole up here? Uh, again, Zorg, the rope appears to be a silk rope. No, uh, not like, the rope, the you, post, the post that the thing is attached to. Uh, it is a pass to the, the, the foremast of the ship. It oh. would be like four feet in diameter. It's a fucking tree. So the part that it's stuck in, I'm just going to grab my blade and chip away so there's nothing for it to be stuck on. Okay. Um, Ahmed. Yeah? You're a carpenter, right? Ooh, yes, I am. <laughs> Hence, I'm chipping at the wood. Do you have carpenter's tools? I don't. Oh, no. You, you don't have tools of your, of your trade. We're going to have to fix that. You running around with a giant saw is hilarious. <laughs> Kicking people as they're trying to keep you from like chopping their mast into. <laughs> There's an image of, of you of you and Black Dog fucking lumberjacking somebody's boat mast. Just the same like their fleet. Yeah. <laughs> Dementia Dory between boats and knocking down main mast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're so uh, delicious. All right. Um, okay. What is that sound? <laughs> All right. Is there are there any boards that are pulled up from the uh, uh, like? Can we see in the hole? Oh yeah, you could definitely see this. This this the boat has been fucked. Okay, to be perfectly Genzorig, honest. Genzorig will uh, cast sea invisibility. Okay. Uh, uh, you you don't see anything invisible down yeah. here. And then use a light, use, find a piece of ship and cast light on it and drop it down to the hole. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, Marty, you roll the percentile this time? 70. Okay. Uh, there is um, various damaged bits of, like, ship repair materials. There's a couple, like, there's old tools and things. A lot of it would take a lot of work to get into a working condition. Um, there might be more stuff hidden in there, but you'd have to actually like, get in there and rummage through. Um, there's also uh, places that are, a lot of it seems to be like currently underwater. So it might be, you have to get yourself under the surface there. Okay. The, the, the torch is lighting up the water directly below you. Uh, so you, you don't think there's any little crab things that would snip your fingers off, but... You'd have to get down there to. <laughs> no, uh, that's a banta job. Banta seems to like the water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, has has the light changed at all while we while we've been digging around and now chipping away? Uh, at, uh, at this distance, no. You can see there's a like a gentle purple glow in the other room. How long do you think that's going to take, or should we come back when we get the uh, when we get the cannon? Uh, how, would, how how deep is the thing dug in? Uh, the the hook itself is about uh, two inches into the wood. I'm now going to look up the 
Okay. How, how long will it take me I, to use I, my... I am, I am on it, sir. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to cut it uh, from uh, several angles to get down to that. Um, With a carpentry skill, can I like say, like if it's more than five minutes? Uh, what? It, well, what is your strength? 20. 20? Okay. One. Um, no, 20. So well, you, have it's mutagen, gonna... you have mutagen still running. Oh, yeah. Uh, 25. Oh, yeah. I haven't been adding that shit. Uh, it 20... will take you it'll take you four minutes to do this without reckless abandon, less if you do it with reckless abandon. No, we... we I should... no, we'll, we'll do four minutes. We, we only have two minutes left on our protection from evils. Uh, we should search the rest of the ship before we start doing... This. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. Let's go to the purple thing. That's that's the key. That's why oh, we're here. Oh, hey, I got blessings of Katie are gonna run away in a couple of minutes. There, we can come back. Oh, uh, okay. Yes, good, good call. Oh, grab the also, rope. Just... All your banging around. I'm sure that that sound carries good underwater. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now get in the water over here. I want to see what's going. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. He'll, uh, he'll he'll hop down and um, slowly look at the water. What's taking it so long? It, it's really jammed in there, right? It, I don't know. It is, yes, very, very tight in there. Maybe maybe it's a magical grappling hook that doesn't break. That could be handy. Uh, yes. Could also be grappling. You see anything down there? <laughs> <laughs> The Gitano is doing this, like poking and pointing as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, Banta's gonna go in there. He'll take his take a oh, nothing, just go in the water. Okay. Uh, do, you have, do you have do you have light? Yeah, he's there's a there's a piece of wood that's bobbing in the water that has a light spell on it. Okay. Uh, you you hop down there. Uh, there nothing yeah. snips or bites you. Um. While you're down there, there is a chest uh, that was sort of hidden from view up above. There's also a bunch of like old tools and things, uh, but the chest seems to be in relatively good repair. Although it is, it is obviously corroding with the uh, seawater. It's not a magical chest of any variety. Yep. Yeah. Oh, how heavy is it? Like, how how big is it? Is it like, can I pick it up? It, it's a relatively small type. Uh, okay, type I'll, of water I'll bring it up. Oh, hey, exactly what I was picturing. We'll, they... we'll put the chest on the flotsam vessel. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a chest, uh, a small, small chest uh, on the vessel. Uh, the, the carvings or whatever was on the chest or decoration are all missing at this point from, from corrosion. Okay. What about You'll, the tools? Uh... Any of the tools useful still? They would all need to be repaired, although uh, give me a D6. Yeah, I can quickly grab them. Five. You can make yourself some carpentry tools, but they're non-masterwork. You can sort of salvage some chisel, grab. chisely bits, something that would work well as a hammer uh, and a handsaw. Yeah. Done. Oh, cool. all right. Carpentry he gives, tools. He gives, you, he gives you a little whistle, and we're going to go. I, I, yeah, I, I coming, I coming. He, um, he skips across his little flotsam vessel and gets to the other side. Okay. Uh, there is a uh, room that I think I think Krimler is now like clawing Wait, down, I, down I, the side I, of the deck. I do have carpentry tools, masterwork plus two. Oh, I, I just didn't see them on your sheet. They might not be in a combat slot. Mm. You might want the combat carpentry bag. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing your door jam. <laughs> I nail your cloak to the wall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> disabling a, like a catapult. Right? That's so funny. You know, put him, primarily... put him in a combat slot. Put him in a combat slot. <laughs> Oh You're also God. not very good at it, so it would be, be even better. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Don't worry. We'll when we get when we get money and time, we'll <laughs> magic we'll make item. You, we'll make you an item that makes you good at carpentry. <laughs> Okay. Um, the drug uh, carpenter. Uh, <laughs> measure. I never measure. <laughs> measure twice. You're a weenie. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> measure. But why would I draw my plan out before I start? <laughs> Step one, cut the wood. <laughs> uh, Okay. Um, uh, we have uh, you. You <laughs> enter this wood. this the space, or you spy your way in. There's a uh, obviously corroded and damaged um, uh, captain's chamber here. Oh no! Um, no, we got it. There's some, there's probably some valuables in here. There's like a a red woody mahogany type finish on everything that's mostly been water damaged and destroyed. Uh, you can see where a bunch of furniture might have been plundered or looted. Um, you can see a board in the back of this space uh, that says Undao. Uh, it is broken. What's an Undao? Oh. Uh, additionally, um, do you still have your detect magic running? Uh, yep. Okay. Um, uh, there is a magical, there's a, like a magical aura coming from a, um, uh, it is a, like a, uh, like a bed post. Um, what do you call it? I don't know on the bed, like a rail post, the little carved globe on the end that is shining a in a pinkish light. What uh, is it, senor? I don't know if Ganserg has ranks and spell. He has one rank and spell. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's also uh, like... 19. What kind of magic? Is it? So, firstly... Uh, 1d4 plus 2. Sorry, that doesn't work. 1d4 plus 2, not 1d4, and then hit backspace twice instead of the plus. Okay, there are three magical light sources, or magical sources in this room. Oh, there's uh, there's magic all over this room. What's going on here? Okay, uh, there, I believe it's evocation. There's two evocations. Or sorry, there's three evocations and one. I think it's transmutation. Uh, there's a. Sorry, there's. Uh, it's three evocations and an illusion. And they're all faint. Uh, the give me a second. This is where Adam. That doesn't have that table memorized. They would be uh, faint. Yeah, they're all faint, I think. Yeah, all faint. Okay. And then, so one's coming, the light, the purple light that we were able to see from far away is an evocation faint that is on a uh, the top of a bedpost. It's on the, t the top of a post on, like, a railing. Uh, okay. There, okay. yeah. Is the, is the top of the post a different material than, than the railing? Uh, yes. Uh, the, uh, the Banta, uh, it looks like you can actually unscrew this thing that is glowing. Okay, it could be a trap. I think it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> pointing at the end of it <laughs> just in case something comes out Hold on ready to items carpentry tools wait wait a second Gutano aren't you good with traps <laughs> points the air <laughs> fucking, get your fucking ass out of the bag and have a look around you before we before we kill ourselves or 
Get zapped or something. Okay. Uh, Gatano is... Is he going to traps? He has a disabled device is, of plus 16. <clears throat> and his perception is not great, but he can detect traps, I think. He can detect magic. Wait. Yes. He can detect magic, and then he has um, the ability to see hidden, like, magical traps. So. Okay. Uh, he's he's got the trait that gives him the magic trap stuff. Okay, Gatano, extremely carefully, he almost you know the the cats as they're adjudicating jumps and they're kind of like eh, ooh, ha, ha, he, he uses ha, ha. his he uses his charisma for perception. So his perception plus twelve isn't bad. It's not amazing, but it's he, he doesn't have like the the bonus on perception no, against no, traps. Hmm. Okay. 26. Uh, okay. Uh, he ends up crawling to a point that's just below the water level, poking at it, and a little door pops open. You're detecting more magic, Genzorg? Oh, there's more magic coming from there. Okay. Uh, do we know what kind? Do we roll uh, spellcraft again? They could do it. Roll another spellcraft. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. Uh, there is who? There is illusory magic. There is conjuration magic, and there is evocation magic coming from there. It's all faint. Maybe all faints. I believe. Oh. Uh, oh. It. There's some of it is moderate coming out of this little door. Coming out of this little door that he's that the the fox has flicked open. Now, when you say little door, is it little to the fox or is it little to us? Or it's it's it, it would be like a um, a junk drawer size okay. drawer, like a, okay. You could you could hide a, like daggers could be hidden in there, but nothing. No, like light weapons could potentially be hidden in there. Nothing bigger. Than All right, that. let's let's first fuck around with the uh, the. The post. Unscrew that. Hey, Brandon. Yeah, me, why, why not him do it? <laughs> the, oh, the fox I'm, gives I'm, you the finger. <laughs> Unscrew that. Dora, I got you covered. Pantalis, <laughs> went uh, Okay, one second. No, 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 Fox can do it. He can do something. Gatano, <laughs> unscrew that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gatano unscrews the... Does he turn into human Gatano, or... No, no, the fox is out there. <laughs> do you see? <laughs> Foxes have kind of thumbs. Uh, You're so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> the fox sticks his tongue out at you. <laughs> Vanta <laughs> pops down and does it. Okay, it's way faster because the fox is going to get like, a, like an eighth of a rotation per attempt. <laughs> don't, don't think I don't know what you're doing. You're you're doing your job bad, so we never ask you again. I'm on to you. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it unscrews. You have a glowing a fuchsia knob. Glowing. Bannister. Uh, okay. <laughs> that gets packed away so that we can't see the light anymore. It's going to wrapped up in some uh, undergarments or something like that and just packed away in one of our sacks. Um, Genzerig will recast light and then recast detect magic. Okay. You recast a spell. Uh, you have a heartbeat and you're uttering arcane words. The Fine. room begins. Or you're, you're uttering magical words. Uh, the room begins to speak to you. What the fuck? Marty, uh, previously I asked you to write a note for what a character might say. I don't know the character's voice, so yep. if you could read <clears throat> that aloud. Hello? Is anybody out there? The real McCoy here. Trapped. Captain's cabin in the Undaunted. 
My mind would be a terrible thing to waste. Excelsior! Anybody else hear this bullshit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks at the drink. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the language is done in lingua flotsam. Which I think both Gutano and... Uh, let's see. Gutano understands Blanche. that lingua flotsam, the, the basically the... the yeah, yeah, I, 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 I speak it too. How... Big was the mouth that sort of appeared briefly. Um, like ogre-sized lips. Okay, this is really big. He's really big. He's really big lips. Uh, they're really like they're really thin on um, lip. They're really thin, but really long, large lips. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> We've stopped casting attack magic. I think there's magic there. <laughs> Hello? Uh, can you hear us? Hello? Big weird mouth. It says stuck in the captain's cabin. Are we in the captain's cabin? Hey, Captain Cabin. Wait. Fuck. Uh, when you look down, Katano is in a scrimmier saddlebag. <laughs> oh, it says something about wasting something. Don't make us waste it. I can waste you if you don't show yourself. What the fuck were those lips? <laughs> do you, like do you need help? A weird lips thingy? Need help? Oh. Oh. Maybe it's gone. Okay, what was the next magic thing? <laughs> okay, you've got... Uh, uh, you see a uh, the illusion is fading. <laughs> the illusory aura is, aura is fading. Just, 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 oh, the illusory aura is fading? Yep. What was it on? Uh, it was. It came from the direction of that mouth, where that mouth appeared. Oh. Illusions make you see things. I think we just saw something. I think that was the illusion. <laughs> okay, there's some evocations oh, okay. around here. Be careful. I think those ones are the ones that make me go boom or light. You'll, okay. start, you'll start rooting around. Okay, you you, you actually find uh, a small case that has two more of these illusion spell sort of thing, or this not illusion, sorry, uh, evocation auras coming from it. Okay, small case, evocation aura. What's inside the case? Okay, you open the case, and your eyes are assaulted by bright lights. Oh. They've got, uh, are these the, the lights that don't go out? The continuous things? Well, why am I talking to you? You don't know about magic. Yeah, uh, yes, they are. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, one is bright yellow, and the other one is like a eye-melting cyan. And they look like they're banister knobs. They look like banister banister knobs. They both they all have threaded ends. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. We need to do something with these. Screw them into something. Depending on what kind of party they're having, the different light is the party light. Yeah. It's for communication, dum dum. Oh. Or parties. <laughs> oh, okay. Which is a sort of a form of communication, I guess. Oh, and you see Katano <laughs> starting to, like, <laughs> and then he nods. <laughs> okay, we'll pack those away with the other one so that our backpack isn't, like, gleaming. We'll wrap it up and pack it away. Uh, okay. This, this little case seems to be rather well lined to hide the light that comes from them. Oh, okay, well, we'll drop the other canister. They, they're, all three of them fit in the case. And it's just only three, three lights? Yep. So it was yellow, cyan, and... It was it's yellow cyan and magenta. These are pretty uh, pretty fucking bright. They're probably used for ship communication or something. Hey, we could dangle these from uh, um, from Krimlier. Even better, yep. than the, better than the the flaming uh, 
you can only communicate one thing with with the flare. The flare hasn't gone off. <laughs> well, was funny. Nobody's <laughs> looking for the flare. <laughs> Cribbler, my <laughs> <laughs> Take to the spy class, have a look at where where they are. Because the party's still standing on the top. The, the, of the, the party's still standing. You, 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 like for a second there, like Sun Wu, they they there was more lights of different colors popping out in your spy glass. Um, they're very un like the the light that is that they they're pulling out is very unnaturally tinted. Like they're like almost like a pure ink. It's like sort of like Sun Wu has this like oh. It's very, very colorful. <laughs> okay, there's no flare. All right, we'll go back to looting. All right, so both evo that 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 explains all three of the evocation. Uh, Th that that explains the, the the three faint evocations. Yep. All right, now we're gonna root around the captain's. Um, okay, the, the in the little drawer, uh, there is a lead lined drawer here. I think we just removed the whole drawer. You got a carpenter kit. We got a carpenter <laughs> with a 25 strength. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have a DC 25 hidden compartment drawer, lead lined. Well, after we remove it, it's probably. Is the compartment in the drawer? The compartment's okay. in the okay. drawer, yep. Okay. Take the drawer out. So we take the whole like tabletop. <laughs> we will put the drawer in front of. Uh, okay, this time you gotta turn back, turn into you, so you could fucking use your thumbs or something. <laughs> hey. If you don't do it, you're not getting a share of the treasure. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna do me like that? <laughs> oh, oh, no, Oh, yeah, you wouldn't do me like that. You wouldn't do anything. But... Let me find out. Uh, is, is he medium or is he small? I think he might be medium, actually. Um, Kitsune, I think, are medium? I think they're medium. Like, they have a dramatically shifted size. Yep. Yeah. He is medium. All right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, of course you choose this for him, not the Katana we all know. Shapeshifters. Oh. Oh, I... Can't trust him. <laughs> he, he's doing this, like, this coughing. <laughs> and then he turns into, like, the full Gatano. Like... <laughs> Can't trust yeah. him. Feed them to crabs, crab devils. <laughs> oh, you're going to feed me that way. What would you ever do without me? You're right saving you all the time. Okay, save us from the trap that's probably on this uh, hidden compartment here. Okay. You got all the treasures there inside. <laughs> Do you understand what he said? Fuck! Uh, <laughs> no, he's very weird. <laughs> Let's see. I, he, he spotted it. He then went to disable it. And he rolled a two. <laughs> I don't see him as being very smart. I don't know why. <laughs> the fucking dark sting out of his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so the uh, the trap is making an attack roll against Gatano. Gatano has uh, mage armor. The shield spell is down, but the uh, bark skin is running. Uh, and I don't know if he's got... Looks like AC 21. No, he's not a rogue, so he doesn't have AC for the trap. Okay, hang on a second. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, okay, there's a little dart being shot at him. Uh, <laughs> there's a dart. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh my word. Uh, give me a second. Uh, I'm just getting the... There we go. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, the, the dart doesn't penetrate his skin. Um, there's oh, a. There was a trap. Oh, it's just kidding. <laughs> uh, the, the dart goes shooting off into the water somewhere. It's it's gone. Um, a little thing shot out, but there's a, a place to basically put a a, a needle uh, around where the it enters. <laughs> Some. This is, <clears throat> The katana was able to open the drawer. She got in there. Uh, the when the drawer opens, uh, there is like moisture, water that comes out. There's some destroyed documents inside. Additionally, there is a couple of potions. There is a wand, and there's a couple of scrolls that all survived. Two potions, one wand, two scrolls. Is it? Yep, I heard seven. Uh. The, the scrolls are moderate. They are is there any, anything non-magical in there? Uh, there's there's remnants of paper. Um, there is some like destroyed ink. Uh, there are some like pens and writing implements. Uh, and there looks to be a seal. Uh, the seal is not damaged. Like it survived. Like it, it'll need like a new little wooden handle at the end. You know, okay. the little knobby thing. So it's a seal stamper, stamp style. Oh, do you recognize this? Uh, profession sailor or knowledge local or knowledge arcane? I've got profession sailor. I'm going to help Vanta. Uh, plus three. We all recently were trained as sailors. It's <laughs> like a captain's uh, seal, maybe. Thank you a bonus. Uh, plus three. Plus three. Oh, sorry. Twenty-five. 25 uh yeah this this is the like a, a captain seal or a docking seal for the undaunted it is to make paperwork official for this ship uh 25 uh you believe that there's a like a trading guild that this seal is affiliated with like this boat is affiliated with a guild they aren't uh, a booze guild You've interacted with them like one time and they seemed stodgy. <laughs> you, did, you weren't of the biggest fan, Beta. But, I mean. Okay. You like the ones that give you booze. They didn't give you booze. We'll basically close it all up into the drawer. We'll keep the paper scraps and everything inside. We can dry it out. Let Sun Wu look at it. Let Sun Wu look at these things afterwards. He seems to be able to figure out what they are. Mm, yes, good thinking, yes. And then we'll, we'll stash the drawer uh, sans dart um, <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Good job. Uh, gets our advantages to keep a straight face. You, you see a human <laughs> flipping you the bird and turning into a fox. <laughs> All right. Is anybody in here? Try seeing if there's more magic. Is this the captain's quarters? He's he's looking to the other sailors. See see if there is more magic with your magic thingy. Okay. But you see some magic. fading auras of of like illusory magic that are just dissipating after the minutes of playing with other things. Yeah, there's no magic in there. Are there any doors or ways to get deeper into this? Uh... Uh, yeah. You can, if you want to go under the water. Under the sea. Yeah, uh, Bant, I'll take a look. Oh, okay. 
This is it's getting ready to punch something. Age before beauty, I guess. Uh, yes. Hey, wait. You gotta be what fifty? Uh, Banta, uh, Banta is prime age of uh, twenty-two. <laughs> Very hard life at sea. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. There's no way, unless you got humped by a ghost or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very hard life at sea. No, uh, Banta, Banta is about 40 something, yes. Okay. It's also wrong. <laughs> Look at his character sheet. <laughs> he's, he's, he doesn't, Banta doesn't really know how old he is. <laughs> many, many winters. Like 40 at least. Okay, he's letting you go under the water first. <laughs> All right, let's see. You know, he takes. He's got that wooden beam that's still emanating light. Okay, uh, give me a uh, percentile roll. Forty-six. Uh, so you see a like. There was a um, uh, like a barrack that you were sort of getting to that is below decks uh, at this point, um, or a bunch of men were in a room. Uh, you can see a bunch of remnants of like of bodies stripped of flesh. Uh, you do see a bunch of small eggs laid in this area. None of them are at the point of uh, hatching, uh, but they do look like extra bulbous, like they're like the size of apples. I don't know if you've seen fish, eggs. Like caviar. A caviar the size of apples are are in this little space, nestled oh. amongst the, the bodies. I assume they're the, the bodies apple. are all partially dismembered. Yeah. The apples, uh, out. what are they called? The uh, abomination uh, things that we've... Not abominations, what are they called? Uh, aberrations. Aberrations, thank you. The, 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 the reef claws, yep. Yeah. They oh. very well could be. You're not a marine biologist, but. Yeah, I'll come it back. Seems to make sense. Nothing else in here? Nothing else useful? Uh, no, nothing appears to be, unless you want to dig through a bunch of uh, dismembered corpses lined with these little eggs that are in a large number. Give me an int check. Maybe uh, does any any of them look like they're wearing captain's gear, uh, or a relevantly a re a relatively important gear? Give me a perception check. Uh, I think twenty. Looks like, yeah, twenty. Twenty. Okay. Uh, you see, I'm gonna roll a d eight. Uh, you see a arm that is wearing a nice jacket. You assume that the arm from the nice jacket looks like a captain's jacket. You'll take the arm, look for the yeah, corpse that's missing, the rest of the corpse, the similar jacket. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, after rooting around, uh, you think you see um, uh, like another piece of cloth that's of like a similar color. Uh, it's like a, a really deep violet color. Um, so you think it goes together, at least it's matching. Um, although you're gonna have to sort of work your way past a big string of these like apple sized eggs. Um, there are hundreds in this space. Come back upstairs. Maybe more. We'll come back upstairs. Are you bringing the arm with you? Yeah. Are there any eggs in the arm? Uh, uh, there, there was one, but when you grabbed it and moved it originally, it, it kind of detached. Yeah, I'll bring the arm up. It floats slowly down and drifts into the pile and sticks to another cluster of these eggs. Yeah, I'll bring it up. What's going on? Uh, there's oh, many, many eggs of those things down there. 
uh, hundreds. The reef claw eggs? I think so, yes. Oh, so we're not making a, a vacation home here? Uh, probably not a very bad idea. But uh, hey, look, uh, between, the captain between, says hello. The captain says hello. The, <laughs> the ghoul fever mosquitoes and, and the reef and the reef claws. <laughs> the captain says hello. <laughs> Waving <laughs> somebody else's hand at you. Hello. Uh, see if there is magic, maybe. But I saw more of his uh, clothing in behind the many, many eggs. I did not want to cause uh, disturbance there, just in case. Well, it sounds like a job for Gatano. Gatano <laughs> is doing full-on hide in a sack. Like he ain't going anywhere near no eggs under. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no going to take a quick peek at the eggs just to see what they look like. Okay. Uh, there are these uh, big pulsating, uh, like very orange, uh, oh. thin shelled, uh, slimy caviar looking balls. You can see on a few of them, it looks like they've got, it looks like an, they look almost like eyeballs because you see like a little dark thing inside sort of moving around. Uh, like so they've got around. little visible. Reef there's claw, little, there's little visible little reef claw larvae looking. Oh, when those things hatch, it should be bad. I think they're going to eat everything. There's hundreds of them. There, yeah, give me a. So, yeah, Banta didn't want to count. I was asked Robin for rolls a couple of times. He's like, I'm not counting. Uh, give me an int check from uh, an int or a survival. Oh, we'll roll survival. Yeah, I'll give you survival. Uh, it's track or no? Uh, it's not to track. 25. Uh, so, um, it would be, uh, yeah, there's somewhere between 200 and 600 eggs. And then to tech magic, is there anything worth going into this room for? <laughs> We're gonna, well, a D2. One on the D2, there's something magic in there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, there's a magical aura coming from... Oh, 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 it seems to be... Oh, you see that, that weird purple felty color at the bottom of the pile. Oh, it's worth it. Yes, let's go. <laughs> what would it take to grab the felt? Oh, do, do you want to? You could like sleight of hand, or sleight of hand would be like a heal, or maybe a survival. Try to basically you have to try to move the eggs without disrupting them, or you can just smash your way through and grab them. <laughs> that one, that last one, no, <laughs> that seems to be aggro. Uh, look at the character with all the disabled device and sleight of hand. Well, I, he disappeared, <laughs> apparently. I don't know where he is. <laughs> the he character resurfaced. Okay, there's a magic shirt or something like that, but it's under a lot of these eggs. Um, maybe you could snag it a little bit. Oh, no, I got it, I got it. Maybe we could get the rope to attach itself to the cloak, and we'll slowly pull it out. And you could pull it out because you're really good at that. But yeah, okay, give me a second. <gasps> <I'll go under. laughs> he will bark out the command for the rope to affix itself, to snake its way to fix itself to the uh, uh, to the shirt. Okay. Uh. Give me a, well, it would be a used rope check in the oldie days. Um, it's a ranged attack roll, I think, is how ropes work. Okay. Do I get to fly feats? Sure. Uh, it's, it is not a bow, though. It's not a... No, a point blank shot. Point blank shot, for sure, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to aim... 
you usually don't shoot. <laughs> uh, this would be plus 10, plus 2 for aiming, plus 1 for point blank shot. I think that's right. 27. So yeah, you're able you're able to to sneak the rope through the eggs to grab onto the the coattails. Okay, and then there are eggs resting on the coat. Yeah, there, there's there's eggs resting on it, yeah, like resting on the body. Okay, he'll, he'll 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 surface again now that he's got the rope in place. Okay, I did the first part. The rope's attached to the uh, to the cloak. Now we got to carefully, slowly pull the cloak out from underneath the eggs without disturbing the eggs. Because when those hundred things hatch, I'm on that boat to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Grimly, dug, 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 all day, day long. <laughs> get on the boat. Gutano, uh, no, no, no. Come here, come here. <laughs> he picks Gutano out of the bag. <laughs> Okay, oh, Katano's no. really squirming. He's really hard to grab. <laughs> yep. Uh, Banta, you might want to get on the... Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. You might want to get on the, the, the raft. You, you know you know what? I could, I could make you punch Banta in the face, and then Banta would punch you in the face, and then I'd be criminally out of myself. Yeah. Then criminally reach you. All right, pull, pull, pull. Here we go. Yep, <laughs> we, we we were gonna get on the raft and drink and drink our our small potions. <laughs> our uh, small are you doing potions. this before or after trying to get the grappling hook? Uh, before. Okay. Oh, uh, I could go grab the grappling hook. Four minutes. <laughs> no, they're all gonna swarm you. They're all gonna hatch. It's gonna be. Ter it's all gonna be terrible. <laughs> and how we get cannon? No, we get. We come back for cannon. Cannon won't fit on the boat. Criminal um, can. Criminal can't carry the cannon. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Cannon carrying. <laughs> <Some reason. laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pictured a cannon, like like dragging around a cannon underneath. Criminal. Right That's cool. Uh, <laughs> cannon Griffin. Gryffindor! All right. Uh, so uh, we're going to roll a sleight of hand for Gatano, I think. We are going to try to... Genzarg's going to cast Guidance. Okay. And he's guidance got... scale? It should. Uh, uh... Well, I think it's one per three, though. I think it's next level. No, I'm fifth, so it'll be plus two. Okay. Uh, and he's got a masterwork rope to, to help him with this. <laughs> 21. Uh, so Gatano, which succeeds a pickpocket attempt, you've grabbed the thing now, whether did somebody notice? That so you've yeah. pulled, you've you, basically Gatano has pulled the the vest and part of a torso up to the surface there are some eggs still attached to it that have been pulled all the way up none of the eggs have ruptured oh okay now uh, you want omelet <laughs> now we gotta undress the thing kids are getting on to the griffin <laughs> Yeah, Banta will sl gently put I, I it in mean, the water. I mean, you gently just, like you could just drag the the two eggs by themselves aren't going to fucking kill us. It's the, it's the six hundred buddies that are in the in the next room. <laughs> I think we could just drag the rope and the and the carcass and the two eggs for future study or whatever, and okay. and just fly out of there. Okay, you did a good job. Come on, <laughs> come on. Why don't we just use boat and and just go all back to shore? No, no, we're flying. Fuck, fuck uh -uh. boat. <laughs> okay, Katano's getting tiny. Katano's hopping in the thing. He adds, he adds back to the rope. When fuck I open, when I open the 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 saddle bag, do I notice poop in it? Uh, yeah, there's some, some poop in there. Oh, okay. I, he he makes sure that he gets back into that part of the saddle bag. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's going to the other saddle bag. No, no, this was full. Right very tight. It, it, this was full. The treasure's in there. Go. <laughs> oh, the swarm's coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to show the really straight walk in there. <laughs> he goes into the saddle bag and it gets looped close. You're like, you're going to never do it. <laughs> oh, if I poop in my saddle bags, will you? <laughs> All right, we're we're taking off, um, and then we're gonna watch the we're gonna just send the floatsome vessel like drifting out, just to see if if anything would attack it. Okay. And, and then we have at the end of the rope, <laughs> the, the, the grappling hook tied to a corpse with a couple of eggs on it, and and the magic tied to a partial corpse. It's <laughs> a not partial very corpse. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some woo. They seem to be dragging something behind them. Ooh. Look at that. They're coming back. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to roll two d20s for do the eggs stay attached to the body through the whole process, or do they fall off? Well, they both stay attached. They're both... They are stuck to the... Stuck to the torso. All right. Then... About a minute and a half, and you're into your your this running flight. Your flotsam vessel gets smashed in half. It's fucking oh, gone. It's fucking mama. <laughs> mama got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good thing we didn't take a boat out here. Hey, good job, Banta. It gives you give Bant a little yeah. little little uh, elbow to the ribs. Hey. Good job, Katana. Oh, oh, <laughs> the bag gets rubbed in like he just <laughs> rubbing him in the bag. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's very scary out there. <laughs> uh, give me a con check for um, uh, for Kremler. Uh, yep. For just how good I thought you, were, that you were going to say Katano. <laughs> oh, Katano. Uh, getting rid of your own poopy happens. About <laughs> uh, 14. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Kriblayer is fatigued after the second sprint. Yep. Um, so, she's she will be fatigued until like uh, she gets a, a proper rest. That's fine. I think we did a good job. And then what, what was it? It was a magic cloak on the body? Magic vest? Cloak? It's a magic vest. Vest? Okay. Yeah, we go, we go flying back. All we... I'll copy us back to the uh, Bone Rack Isle map. Mm -hmm. Oh, they returned! You didn't die! Good job! You're so small! <laughs> Did you see what happened to the raft, though? Uh, give me a perception check for Sun Wu. He might, might not have... He's the guy who had using the spyglass isn't necessarily the... You know... Um, 24. 24? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you saw, you saw, oh. the, you, you saw the, the boat. Yeah, it's right over there. It's, it was kind of on the way to the lair. Like, we're... Yep. Oh, that wasn't the worst thing. The worst thing is they're using the hull of that ship as a breeding ground. Like, they... they hundreds and hundreds of eggs of those little critters. We got a couple... Hey, of there's an sample. apple! <laughs> hey, there's an apple here! No, 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 need that. That's one of the... Or maybe eat it. I don't know. Uh, go, go ahead. <laughs> so go over and tip over, like, our cooking pot. Shh, like, or, like, whatever... Whatever is not warm, um, that's a container, and then, yeah, the body. I don't know. He 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 he, he brought it. He'll let other people play with it. Sun Wu is going to try to extract the eggs. Okay, uh, let's grab the tokens and get back to the correct map. Kachar, Kachu, Kati. Well, I, I put us on the bone rack. Oh, no, you didn't? Okay, perfect. 
Although I didn't grab the other forms of Gatano. All right, I will go get those because I was just there. <clears throat> yeah, someone will have a look at the eggs. Um, okay. Uh, you have uh, reef claw eggs. Um, give me a knowledge of nature. It's actually knowledge of engineering. I think that's the one that he doesn't have. Wait a second. Nope, he, he doesn't have any of that. Ooh, they're really weird. Okay. Um, Which is just in check, I guess. In check? I mean, I guess Mulgrimir can help. He is. He does have... He's, uh, he knows things. Mulgrimir has dungeon doing. Plus 11. Yep. Plus 11. So, in check to aid Mulgrimir. Uh, he doesn't do it. We're weird. Doesn't do it. <laughs> Twenty-seven. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Reef claws only spawn once in a very few years. They spawn in large numbers when they do. Oh, these things are there are hundreds of them in that boat. With the size of the fuck one down there, I bet there's thousands. Probably not the only spot with them. We don't want to be here when these things hatch. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do we need we, to we get... Don't, we don't want to be here now. This island is awful. Do we need to get the hook and the cannon? Oh, yeah, there's a magic hook that he would all tug and tug and tug. He did on his rope. But I did. <laughs> yeah, I was tugging <laughs> all the... Uh, I was tugging very hard. hard. I've tugged on my magic, magic rope since I was a wee lad. It, it never came out. Either. <laughs> Very strange. It did come out, no. though. <laughs> there's a magic wrapper. Oh, you're yeah, disgusting. And there's a magic ship <laughs> cannon that could be salvaged. The problem is Krimner can't lift it in my flotsam vessels. We could probably carry the the grappling hook, no problem, but the the cannon's got to weigh six, eight hundred pounds. And you saw Big Mama out there get mad at the, the, at the boat. Ooh. Magic cannon. Hmm. That that's worth salvaging if we can. Yeah. Is it worth dying over? Says says Jim. No. But if there's a magic spell for that, maybe something. Give me a second here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but I got nothing. Yeah, uh, we, we cannon. If we make a small balloon, we can make it float. Jin has a spell called buoyancy. One medium or smaller object or creature per level, no two of which can be twenty feet apart. Lasts for one round per level. Okay, this is the problem. Objects become buoyant and naturally float. I can make the cannon, if it is small enough, float upon the sea, but for mere moments. Uh, for how long? It is about this big with this round. To the count of 20 or 30. Oh! And you're not counting slow, are you? No. Mm. It is more meant to help someone who falls in the water from drowning immediately, not for long-term transport. Huh. Good to know. Did you prepare today? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jin, sure, can you give me a heal skill, heal check? Jin, all right. Familiar with egg laying mating patterns? Uh, 35, not 20. Okay, uh, roll a d20, please. Six. Uh, these things should be hatching in less than a month. 
but more than a week. Uh, more than a well, the, these two will be more than a week. Okay. Um, they spawn in a season, um, which, which is what uh, Mulgamir is telling you. Um, they only mate every few years, uh, and they do one big mating, like they take a big old big mating. These creatures will hatch in less than a moon. Oh, we got less than a month to hang around this island. Please tell me, Mulgrimir. I don't want to be here for a month. <laughs> Fuck that. Here. A few more days, maybe? A few more days. We have time. <clears throat> Good to know. Good trip. Uh, what about the magic cannon? Well, I don't see how we're going to get out there with that, with that thing in the water. We might be able to distract it, but we'd have to... <clears throat> Can't be everywhere at once. Make your little fucking boats over there, and Mama can go snap something over there, and pick up the cannon over here. <laughs> yeah, but the only way that we come back is a boat. Why don't we get a boat then, then come back and get the cannon? Use our boat to blow the fuck out of the mom. <laughs> hmm. Power level will come back when we have Dimension Door or something. <laughs> no, spell. just should go Dimension Door fly spell. Wait. When does Gensari get fly? Does he get fly? Yes. Uh, your animal feather domain third level. When do Inquisitors get their level spell? Okay. Um, uh, what's his name? Ah, oh, seven. Mm. We're two levels away from that. <laughs> Banta is gonna. We're gonna. What we're gonna do is use some wood, and we're gonna make a little flotation device for the cannon. The, the problem is, Mama. Maybe we just footnote that. Oh yeah, and there was this weird thing. What did it say? There was an illusion. Yeah, uh, I am captain. Uh, my intelligence is too bad to be lost. Something like that. Stupid. Is thing. there Just anybody care. out there? The real McCrab, McCoy, something? McCracken. Trapped captain's cabin in the Undaunted. Oh, I think that, that boat's called the Undaunted. My mind would be a terrible thing to waste. Uh, Get uh, Tad out. Shifts. Yes, states exactly what the fucking mouth said. Hey, 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 I'm sorry, we'll do this in Katano's voice. That's it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, anybody out there? Real McCoy here. We're trapped. Captain's cabin in the Undaunted. My mind would be a terrible thing to waste. Excelsior. But with a Louisiana accent, I can't fucking do. <laughs> so it turned into widget all the way. <laughs> fucking yeah, Adam yeah, Sandler yeah, voice. But but it was a big pair of lips. Big, big pair of lips? Yeah, just floating lips. Anybody attached lips? No. Oh. Can Sunwoo make a spellcraft? Sunwoo can make a spellcraft. He needs to use the aid from Gensorig. Uh, 32 before any aids. Okay. And uh, neither aid nor hinder from Kenzorg. Dis despite the poor description from Kenzorg, a big, some big lips told us a thing. Uh, yeah, a magic mouth spell. Oh, magic mouth. Somebody programmed that a long time ago. Uh, programming meaning they cast the spell and told it what to say. Uh, magic mouths can last for ever until they're discharged. So, somebody wanted us to help them on the Undaunted. Is that what that boat's called? Oh, I think so. I, it had the right letters, but it was broken. I think so. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, it shows you that. <laughs> this was in the, the, the not trap door or any drawer anymore. <laughs> good, good job, Katana. Good, good job. <laughs> You're currently Katana is is wiping at some stain on his <laughs> on his pants. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, the stamp I think says it the undaunted. Uh, <clears throat> but I just says they're, they're like some trading guild, the trading guild ship. It, it, these stamps are used to mark official documents. Huh. They are valuable for pirates in terms of you know making unofficial official documents. <laughs> So, so whoever cast it said that they were trapped in the captain's cabin, but you didn't see anyone there? No, a lot of dead bodies. Oh, okay. Sounds kind of pompous. My mind would be a terrible thing to waste. Who the fuck says Excelsior anyway? <laughs> Excelsior. Sun Wu will. The fuck's will, Excelsior? Well, where he keeps his little notes, he'll just make a note of this. Hmm. But you were in the captain's cabin. Why would they leave a note? Uh, I think I found the captain's. Uh... Parts. Hello, is anybody out there? Real McCoy here, trapped. Captain's cabin in the undaunted. My mind would be a terrible thing to waste. Sounds good. Is there somebody trapped in there? I don't know. We didn't see anybody. I don't understand. There was many magic uh, fields inside. Oh, we found these uh, these weird little lights. It's going to take out the glowing balls. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! You got glowing balls! <laughs> I think they're used to... Uh, you know, to light up a tent for a party or something. Or they could be used to communicate with other ships. These are really odd colors. Give me a knowledge um, arcane or spellcraft or craft, like, art from Sun Wu. Arcana it is. Twenty-one. One. Uh, Morgan American aid. Uh, he gets a plus two. The so twenty-two. So, Sun Wu, you know that these colors, uh, the, the yellow is one that can be found in nature. The other two can't. Like they're 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 purely magical colors. Cyan and magenta. Yeah, cyan and magenta aren't. Like, nothing can be that, but it exists. And magic can make it happen. You could, with the cantrips, you'd learn it's one of those, here's this thing that you could do that you can't find. You're not going to find a flower that that color. Or a... Unless it's a magic flower. Unless it's, exactly. They're, they're oh. immediately recognizable as being magic. Hey, I could copy these colors. That's really neat. Uh, okay. So this is, this can be replicated by nature, but the other two can't, which would... Make communication through a storm or something? Mogamir, we could probably develop some sort of system. Hmm? Mogamir? Huh? Huh? You can think of something? There's <laughs> colored lanterns. Yes. We okay. can do. Could we, yes, yes, suddenly we can do communication with, with, with the fucking so lights. We don't always get blasted by these unholy uh, colors, sure. Yeah, yeah, I can get rid of that. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Karen is trying to, to grab one to basically put this. He wants to do a glowing balls joke. <laughs> oh, look, at, look at the monkey man go. <laughs> look at him glow. I've got magic balls. <laughs> he, he, adds back the, he adds it back. Oh, we already did that on the boat. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> the kids are just lying. <laughs> he wishes he thought of it. <laughs> Okay. So is, what are we doing with the little mutant apples? Oh, uh, breakfast. I think we should just put them back in the water. Red has this like primal urge to see how far he can hit them like they are baseballs and see what they do. <laughs> I mean, they laid thousands of 
them. I don't think they're going to be missed. We don't want them hatching. Climb into your nose or something. <laughs> Sniff <laughs> it's, 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 they're pretty big. Oh, <laughs> I mean, right now, if you broke it open, they can climb into your nose, but they're... they're... <laughs> yeah, I think we're just leaving them behind. Uh, some who doesn't want them. I think we already have eggs of something. You've got some other eggs, yeah. The egg egg eggs. Yep. Seven egg egg eggs. I mean, how how long are we gonna be here? A week tops. It might be dangerous. They are. Uh, they will hatch within less than a moon, more than a week. Ah. Huh. So when we're all crammed on a boat, we'll have these little buggers running around trying to eat us. Climbing into things they shouldn't. <laughs> they ain't care what happened to me. <laughs> I mean, no way, no how. I mean, people eat them, don't they? Uh, they're a great delicacy. Many people, there are, there are multiple villages that make their old livelihoods on this. They eat the eggs too? Uh, the eggs are very rare. Why don't we feed them to our ghoul? Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Romulus movie is out. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, it's a ghoul. Why are you going to be like, ah, oh, fuck? <laughs> well, they Shit. have metabolisms because they eat things, right? Well, they do have metabolisms, yeah. for sure. Uh, I mean, if, if you got chest burster, it'd be like, oh, no. You stitch my chest back together again. <laughs> Fucking ass. You asshole. <laughs> well, make sure he chews. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you've you've got the two eggs. Uh, yeah. It's uh, a little bit of spell prep in the morning. Flying out there, you spent a total of like thirty minutes digging around, doing some traps and etc. Um, and then made your way back. It's still morning, effectively. Yeah, we're gonna climb down. Fetch our boat. We're not going out there while the mother's pissed off running around in this area. <laughs> I think we start the long trek back inland. Okay. Uh, Ahmed, I need a percentile roll. No. Sorry, acting like I'm a child. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> 37. Okay. Uh, I need, uh, Marty, can you roll a d10? One. One. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, Banta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like I'm picking on him. <laughs> Do it. Do it. It's in the order that you were here. Uh, all right. Uh, while your your party is currently trekking through the swamp, I'm just gonna drag us over to. Oh, let's pick a pick a spot. We're gonna use the this peak just to be a swamp for now. Okay. Uh, the thunder blasted peak. Uh, do, do, do. Are you portaging your boat, or do you leave it behind? No, we're taking our boat with us. Okay. Okay. As you're making your way uh, through the swamp, the party is mostly together. I think someone was probably on the boat, and Katano is not just hanging out, being all like, well, I'm a cool guy who uses my feet. He's like, no, I am a fox man who's tiny and cute. You can't be mad at me, I'm cute. <laughs> it's a solution to this, to this world. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, while traveling, Banta, um, there's a crack uh, from beneath one of your feet as a rotted uh, a bit of tree stump cracks and putrid